Good morning, Church of God. Let us stand up and let us greet each other. God is so good. Today is a wonderful day. And let us dedicate this day for God. Let us meditate about His mercy and about His goodness. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you helped us. You let us hear and we gather it together for your glory. And we would like to meditate about you. We want to uh, have communications uh, with our brothers and sisters. We'll know that you love us and you saved us. You gave us mercy and redemption. And God, because you are so good, you are so good. And we are in the house of your uh, of yours and just touch every heart and every soul was redeemed by your uh, son so let us worship worship the lamb of god that was crucified for our sins thank you god that you saved us and we will glorify your name we will see you in all our days till our heart is beaten you are worthy to be praised and your church is alive. Your church, God, filled with your power. And this place, fill this place with your miracles when you come and be upon um, among your people. And you will heal people in Jesus' name. We believe you will uh, set us free and we just want to come in the house of the Lord with worship and we know that in your holy presence we'll find peace, we'll find uh, peace during this time when the thunder is loud and you are our foundation. We will worship you, adore you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
God is coming. God is coming and God, we won't prepare our heart to meet you. To come to be with you. And to be all eternity in your presence, in your glory, to watch your beauty. receive all the worship nobody but you and every bow every knee shall bow Hallelujah, we worship you, we worship you and adore you. God, you are worthy, worthy, only you. Because your blood, you wash away our sins, our disobedience, our unbelief, and let all the sins go away from your presence and make our faith strong, stronger. We just trust you. We believe you. In all those moments, when we see your mercy, when we hear your word, your word that alive, 
Help us, God. Believe, believe you and trust you.
Holy God, where your temple, fill us with your peace, our hearts, and let them be filled with your living word that will keep us, that will keep us from the evil, just lead us and guide us.
Вы знаете, в нашей жизни... In our life, there are different moments, different situations, problems, difficulties, defeats, uh, and every man differently uh, considers that. Some agree with this situation and uh, circumstances, others just uh, when he stand up, he said, that's okay, no problem, I will go further, I will uh, continue to serve God. Uh, the advocate means like a protector, protector, the man uh, who protects somebody's uh, interest. He has, uh, he has to protect. And sometimes when we face problems and situations, we become the advocates of defeat uh, that comes into our life. And we say, yes, this is happening to my life, that's okay, I have it in my life. So I prayed for healing of somebody and he wasn't healed. I prayed for other person and he didn't heal as well. And uh, I just, it's okay. I will not pray for the healing anymore. And you became like a, an advocate of this defeat that you see in your life. But you don't see the whole destiny of this person that you was praying for. You didn't know what God started to do according to your prayer, but you agree uh, with what you saw. And you decided, okay, you preached one person, you preached another person, and people did not save, and somebody just laughed on you, mocked on you, and neglect you, or other was negative to say something bad to you, and you said, okay, I will not preach gospel anymore. It's time. And you become an advocate, a protector of such uh, circumstances. Oh, it's not a good time to preach gospel. God is not uh, powerful anymore. And we uh, agree with what we face in our life. But Bible says different things. Bible says don't agree with the defeat that comes into your life. Uh, we have to be the people, uh, the person of faith that uh, after defeat have, uh, has to uh, stand up. Uh, you have to say, that's okay, God taught me something, but and I will continue to preach gospel, I will continue to pray for healing, I will not stop. Interesting. Chapter 2, verse 14. And Apostle Paul says here, But thanks be to God who always, always lead us as the captives in Christ, triumphal procession, and, uh, and use us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. And here Apostle Paul says that God gives us always to uh, be... Uh, overcomers. Jesus Christ, he won the greatest victory. He overcome hell and death on the cross. And Jesus was crucified. He was put in, uh, in, in the tomb. And it seems to be that was the end. But he left this tomb and he was triumph. He came out with tri triumph. And Bible said that he gives us to uh, be in triumph, uh, triumph together with him. And when Rome was captive uh, other countries, after uh, next victory, they sent uh, a messenger to Rome, and he, when he arrived, he says that you have to be ready for triumph. It's a meeting of the great army, and all the city was preparing for this triumph. 
and they agreed uh, about the date when this army is supposed to enter the city and all the city was getting ready for that and uh, the flags were everywhere flowers and Rome was prepared for the next coming of this army and the army of Caesar they were preparing themselves as well they were cleaning the uh, weapon and themselves they, ha they took uh, uh, slaves, they took all the animals of the country that they uh, overcome, and they put uh, the generals in the uh, uh, bars, and the um, king of the country was a uh, captive in chains and the great soldiers were leading this uh, uh, king in the chains and all the people around were so surprised and they were so uh, overwhelmed by this uh, but what they saw they saw these different animals uh, can you imagine crocodiles giraffes and um, elephants and then after this uh, captives uh, the Caesar was riding the chariot and all the army was following next to him and all the army was cl uh, clapping their hands and shouting out loud, greeting this army and that uh, feast was called Triumph. And this is interesting that praise God that he always gives us this triumph. He gives us aroma and spread this aroma everywhere we go. In other words, through you and me, God wants to be glorified in the lives of people that lives here on this earth. And by watching you, by, uh, you, uh, by watching your life in different situations, people, they're supposed to be encouraged. They're supposed to be overwhelmed by your life. Though you face all kinds of defeats, all kinds of difficulties in your life, you didn't, it didn't stop you. You wasn't disappointed. And Bible says, when you uh, when you come to the secret room and uh, speaking your desires to God, and you gave away this to God, and then you were encouraged, started to worship God. Bible says that praise God that He gives us this triumph in Christ. This, this world today in the sorrow, in the sorrow. Yes, you watch people, they are laughing and rejoicing, they seem to be happy, but in the truth they have hopeless situation inside, in their hearts, and Bible says that God gives us this triumph and he spread this aroma of himself around us, uh, through us, in the place of hopeless, in the, in the place of uh, grief and suffering, because we are his aroma in those who are saved and in those who are not saved yet. And God wants us to show His aroma to this world. He wants us to show God's happiness, God's joy, God's victory to others. And how you can do that? If you will justify your defeat and you allow this defeat to influence you, 
And you know, when this uh, sorrow comes, it steals your faith. This uh, sorrow that you allow to come into your life, into your heart, it steals your faith, your anointing, your power that God gives you. So you would not spread this aroma anymore. And this is interesting that uh, one bishop, Cassian, he says that God leads us uh, victoriously. Praise God that God victoriously leads us to the triumph. Victoriously leads us to the triumph. He leads you and me, so we would be trium triumphal. And another uh, translation says that he leads us in this uh, uh, army that rejoices uh, and goes with triumph. And you can you imagine like a Caesar uh, leads his army into this room, and it's like Jesus leads you... Uh, and you are on this chariot with Jesus, and you're rejoicing uh, what God has done in your life. He saved you and gives you power and uh, show His mercy in your life. First John 5, 4. Everyone who was born from God, he overcomes this world. And who can overcome this world? The one, uh, those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And those who were born from God can overcome this world, can overcome this uh, depression, this fear that uh, spread all over today. You have to overcome. Everyone who was born from God, everyone who was born from God has this ability, this power to overcome. And first of all, this victory has to come, has to take place inside of you. I have to overcome. I have to stand against the attacks of the evil one. Uh, how? To read Bible, to meditate on it. You have to receive it into your heart. So this word helps me to overcome. What does it mean overcome? This means that you were attacked and you have to stand against that. You have to face this attack and you have to stand uh, firm. You have to learn how to do that. You have to sta stand against. You have to stand in this position against this uh, fear and depression. God never gives up. God never gives up. He never gives up. This is not uh, his nature. His nature overcome to be uh, to be victorious, and he overcame. Uh, he overcame uh, the deeds of devil, uh, hell, and death. And there is no uh, power that more. Um, and he overcome. He defeat the enemy. Hell, where is your weapon? And death was overcome. Jesus overcome it. Amen? That's why. And if we are his children, we are his inherit. Uh, we uh, inherit this victory. And not because we are uh, good people, uh, people, but because God gave it to you. He gave it free. Just enjoy this victory. Be triumphal. And sorrows and disappointment comes to defeat your faith. But results uh, will bring faith. 
will bring your faith because you can be victorious only if you believe. If you want to overcome this world, your faith have, has to live in your heart. And faith comes from the Word of God. Amen? And you know, there is interesting story about two frogs that they uh, fall into a big jar. A jar with milk and they are swimming there and one thought, well, it's too hard for me to uh, to overcome this heart, uh, this uh, place. I will die anyway. So he sank. It sank. And the second frog started to uh, wave her feet. He sa she, it said, I will not overcome, uh, I will not uh, give up. And she did it and did it, and the milk became a butter. So she, it became a butter, and the frog was able to jump out of this jar. Uh, so we have to be people that not give up and do everything day after day. Pray, serve, encourage other people. We have to be the people of faith. Amen. Mark chapter 2. And this is story about four guys that took his fr uh, their friend and brought him to Jesus. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such a large number that there was no room left, not even outside the door. And he preached the word of them. So men came, bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by jagging through uh, it and then lo uh, lowered the man. And we know that Jesus forgave his sin and healed him. Let us read it. Verse 10. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the man, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. He got up, took his mat, and walked out. And they said, we never saw anything like that. Can you imagine the picture uh, when these two men carried, uh, carried his friend? They were uh, taking him to Jesus, and they saw this big crowd around this house, and they realized that it wasn't uh, it, it, it was impossible to enter the door. And Jesus was teaching there, and what they did, they didn't stand there and did say, "Oh, okay, not today." That's it. And all these people has their own problems, but they didn't give up. Can you imagine they brought him on the roof? Can you imagine how they carried them on the room? Uh, how this possible? It, it, it wasn't an easy way. They have, uh, somebody has to uh, climb on the roof and then from there uh, took this man, paralyzed man, and brought him up. Uh, and it shows us what a strong faith they has. It, it, uh, the difficulties didn't stop them. They decided to make an opening on the uh, in the roof. 
they took him above and can you imagine it's somebody's house and you are bro breaking uh, in the roof doesn't matter we believe if we we'll, uh, took him uh, to Jesus Jesus will heal him what a strong faith they supposed to have and they did it and Jesus saw him right away and Jesus uh, saw they faith he said to the paralyzed man son your sins are forgiven and this man uh, stood up he got up took his mat and walked out in the full view of them all so people were amazed and they said we have never seen anything like this and you will uh, you won't see if did, this didn't happen if this man stopped if they said oh what a problem we have okay next time not today but Bible says Jesus when he saw their faith faith it's not just the words it's action you, so, uh, people has to see your faith and God wants to see your faith if you want to see the result and miracles of God I want to see your faith you want to see a miracle and God says I want to see your faith Bible says that uh, the man of God when he get up, uh, got up, uh, when he comes back uh, to the earth, if he find faith of people, today we became so pragmatic. We know all the situations, and they will answer all your uh, questions. But the problem is, where is your faith? And we become an advocate of our. Uh, defeat you don't understand this man they wanted him uh, to get healed but they saw such a big crowd it was just impossible to get through uh, and Jesus he wanted to help uh, everybody but not these people and not today and perhaps God will uh, heal me but not today and we became an advocate of defeat uh, that we face in our life God wants to see your, your faith and my faith. Amen? That's why a faith in action works. That's why faith in action worked in, uh, in the lives of these people. Mark 10. Mark 10. From verse 46. 46 to 52 they came to jericho and as jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving the city a blind man bartimaeus which means son of timaeus was sitting by the roadside beginning cried out jesus son of the uh, Nazar, uh, son of david have mercy on me many rebuked him and told him to be quiet but he shouted all the more son of david have mercy on me jesus stopped and said uh, call him what do you want me to do for you jesus asked Rabbi, i want to see go your faith has healed you Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Uh, the blind Bartimaeus, when he heard that Jesus is coming, he started to cry out loud, and many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. In other words, people didn't believe that something can happen in his life. They said, don't bother Jesus. You are blind, so stay blind. What can happen? In the, what can be changed in your life? What can happen? From your scream, nothing happened. Just be quiet. Don't bother people. Sometimes it happens that there are friends that helps us in our unbelief. 
There are people who are next to you and they help you not believe. They help you not to show your faith. But God, He wants your faith to be active, to be obvious. And it says, but He, but he started even more. Uh, he started to uh, cry even louder. He started to show his faith. He started to show faith that he has in actions. He started to cry out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, call him. So he stopped and said, call him. They liked. They liked that. He said, I could not go away. This blind man called me. He proclaimed his faith all around him. On all, all over the world. I will not pass by. So they call to, uh, to the blind man, cheer up on your feet. He's calling you. What do you want? I want to see. And he received his healing. I want to encourage, encourage you, don't get stuck to what God has called you to do. Don't look, uh, don't give up. Yes, maybe you was defeated, but it doesn't say that you have to protect your defeat. Don't allow devil to stop you. Don't do that. Like Adam and Eve, uh, they started to protect his defeat when, uh, uh, when God asked Adam, do you, uh, did you eat from this tree? Oh, yeah, but, uh, your wife, but the wife you gave me, that's her fault. He, uh, she gave me this fruit. They started to think only about his defeat, and they didn't see the one who was able to take him out of the situation. They didn't understand who was standing before them. And, she's, uh, and he said, Eve, why you did it? It's not me, it's a serpent's fall. And God gave him pr promise. He gave uh, them promise. God gave them promise. Solution of the problem. Yes, you uh, will fight. You will be... Uh, you will have victory in the future. Don't stay in the in defeat. Wait from God. Wait victory from God. That Jesus will come. The one that will bring you triumph. Don't stay in your defeat. But trust God. Watch Him. Proclaim your faith. Doesn't matter how long you're supposed to do that. Maybe the whole your life you will have to pray for your healing or to proclaim your victory. One sister, uh, she had goiter and we prayed for her and one of the days we started to ask brothers and sisters, there is a, a testimony of uh, healing. And this sister came, jumped uh, on the uh, stage and she said, God has healed me from goiter, but we saw that she had it. Okay, we just clump, uh, clap the uh, hands and we started uh, talk behind her back that she still has it. And then we started to say, maybe brothers and sisters, somebody else has the testimony. And she again was jumping on the stage. She said, I want to testify about God's healing. We thought maybe something else. And she again started to say, God has healed me from goiter. And we just was were watching her goiter. And we again started to talk about this. And then later, again, 
Again, she came to testify from uh, about healing, but one of the day, she had no goiter anymore. And she said, brothers and sisters, I talked to you, uh, I told you that God has healed me. And everywhere, everybody started to wow, screaming and rejoicing out loud. She said, why you don't uh, do this before? Didn't do this before. And we said, we didn't saw it. But the question was not w about that you, what you saw, but she saw it by her, her side of faith. She was proclaiming, demonstrating her faith. You probably thought that she was crazy, but she was fighting uh, against herself. And I'm sure for 100% that was a uh, fight with herself. And doesn't matter how it wasn't comfortable, uh, it was for her uh, a step of faith. That was for her a step of faith. Yes, it's still there, but I believe, I continue to believe. And Bartimaeus was the same way. And people started to tell him, stay quiet, but he was uh, proclaiming his faith. And he was watching anybody, uh, he didn't watch uh, people around, but he received his healing. And it's not about the time, it's about the condition of your heart, how you live, what do you have in your heart, what is more important for you, to receive as fast as possible what you want, or you want God to work with your heart as long as it's needed, and God is working. If you didn't get the, your healing right away, this means probably you have to work with your heart. Uh, when you protect, defeat your uh, problems, it's much harder to stand up and say, I will continue to believe. Love God. And when devil brought his defeat to Adam and Eve, they may say to God, God, we, yes, we uh, committed sin, but we still love you. Yes, we're in defeat, we're in a problem. Forgive us, we still love you. We still believe that you are our God and our King. And you forgive us. But they stayed in this defeat. Don't stop in the middle way. On the halfway. Don't stop on the halfway. One man brought a field. And somebody told him that uh, they heard that uh, on this field, there is a treasure, hidden treasure. And people were uh, uh, searching for, for it, but they didn't find it. So this man brought this field, and he took a tractor and started a uh, shovel, and he started to dig. Didn't find anything. And he stopped and said, okay, that was just a gossip. And he, s he sold it for the just a, a very cheap. And this another man, he, he heard about this too. And one dig and he found this treasure. One dig, one step was stop this previous man from uh, gathering this treasure. Don't give up. Never, never give up. Allow God to work with you, to change you. When you do it, when you follow your dream, 
follow your goal, God will heal your heart. He will clean it up. Everything, he will take out everything what is not worshiping God. Yes, today we live in such a world that people, they want to get everything as fast as possible. People hate to wait. People today don't like to wait. But God, he, do, he is not in a hurry. He tells you stop and understand and know that Jesus is the Lord. Amen. And the last passage of Scripture, Mark 9.23. Mark 9.23 If you can say Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Everything is possible for one who believes. Everything possible. There is no other conditions. There is no condition that everything, but not this one, but not in this situation, but in your case it's too hard your case is outstanding but jesus said everything is possible for one who believes and i want us to stand up maybe today in your heart you give up god spoke to your heart god was leading you but somewhere on the way you di was disappointed uh, you allowed this defeat to uh, talk to you about the uh, conditions of your life and you agreed with that and you started to change the uh, curse um, you started to change your way but God leads you not this way. He wants you to overcome. And then you will see the victory. And I want us to pray that God would touch us from inside, would uh, remind you uh, the things that you uh, left uh, behind. God wants you to start to do it again. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We thank you, God, for your presence. We thank you, our Jesus, that you gives us triumph. You gives us victory. And God, we thank you. Jesus, lead us and guide us from faith to faith, from power to power, from glory to glory. In Jesus' name, let your power, let your life and life abundantly fill our lives. Forgive us that defeat will stop us from doing your will. Uh, forgive us, God. And we want to proclaim that Jesus is alive. God, help us to be an example for other people. Help us to show others that you are, uh, you give us, us tri triumph. Lead us. Change us. Give us this power to proclaim your beauty. Let us influence the situations. Proclaim our faith. Proclaim our faith by our deeds, by our words, by our, uh, by our actions. Help us to show your victory here on earth. And I pray that our faith would go further, would fight against the evil one, and let our faith to overcome, to break the circumstances. Let our faith to be victorious, because all things are possible for those who believe. God, restore us. Give us this power and anointing to live for you. Holy Spirit, lead us, guide us. Holy Spirit, be Lord in our life. In Jesus' name, we, we need you. We need you, God. God, we bless our lives. We bless our destiny. And let the destiny from you fill our life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
Let your will be fulfilled in our lives. In Jesus' name. God, we need you. We need you, God. And I pray right now you touch every heart, you touch every life, every obstacle, every circumstance, and we bring you our defeat. By our faith, we bring you our defeat and problems that we were not able to overcome that we gave up. And today, God, we declare, we proclaim that we will fight against it. We will fight for your promises in Jesus' name. We will proclaim and declare your faith by our lives and in the lives of our loved ones in Jesus' name. And let our faith be strong and this faith will overcome the world in Jesus' name. God heals us, restores us, lift us up and change our lives in Jesus' name. And all the glory be unto you in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and let all every, everybody say Amen.